let me set the stage for this one. I've been fighting the squash fine boar for four years. He's been ravishing me. I got ahead of him. I start to get zucchinis. I get excited. And there's a little itty bitty baby zucchini on, but half of it's turned yellow. What the hell? Is it just, I can't win? Well, I know how to fix it. And I want to show you guys how to fix it so you can get more zucchini out of your garden. So let's go check this out. So a lot of times what causes this is, believe it or not, it's just poor pollination. You know, especially like for me right now, I've planted my zucchini early to try and get ahead of the squash vine borer, which is mostly on the east coast. So if you're on the west coast, this applies to you, but you don't need to worry about the squash vine borer yet. It's just poor pollination. You know, the bees really aren't out in force, which, you know, the other pollinators really haven't come out. Your flowers may not have bloomed as much. And a lot of times these can be the first flowers to bloom in your garden. So it's important that we, you know, you realize that you're gonna need to help it. So a lot of people will use a little paintbrush. I don't use a paintbrush, so I use a Q-tip. And I know, well, that's wasteful, that's wasteful. It is, but in this instance, if I want to do some pollination or like cross pollination of something, like I can be very specific with this and I can use it and then toss it. And I don't have to worry about cross pollinating if I don't want to, or if I want to keeping it pure as I can. So, you know, that's really important for this is, you know, for me, I use, I've, now I've always used these, is a Q-tip. So, I mean, cause what if I'm pollinating, I have to do this for summer squash and zucchini. You know what I mean? Cause they're about the same. Then I can just kind of do each one separately and that's okay. But all you do is you come in here and you have your male flower and the male flower will not have a fruit on the bottom and it looks like this on the inside and then you just put some of the pollen on it and then you come over to the zucchini of the uh, female and you just boom put on that berry white and bang it and there you go so that's gonna cause where you come out and it's like half yellowed and all that otherwise the trick would really be, um, you know, you might have some kind of like calcium deficiency, which be, is part of blossom end rot. But instead of a calcium deficiency, you may want to check the pH in your garden because if the soil in your pH is too high, then your plants cannot soak up the calcium needed. So it could be a combination of both. So just check. But it, if you think it is, you can just get a foil or spray spray it and then that'll help get the calcium in but if it keeps happening time and time again then you might want to check your ph but um you do that and you're gonna get some zucchini you are you know making magic happen you're doing god's work as i say you're pollinating and uh it's a beautiful thing man so put on some berry white get out there get your q-tips out of your ear because they're bad for you anyways only thing we use them for is a garden we don't even use them in the house and um Start pollinating, man. Make that zucchini and squash come out without a, half, being half rotten. Check out the Backyard Gardens podcast. New episodes, two days a week. Available everywhere you listen to podcasts. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much.